1999, the Agos newspaper, which had been founded by Harant Dink and a group of friends in 1996, moved to the offices of the Sabat building in Istanbul. The paper's mission, which published in Turkish and in Armenian, was to draw attention to and raise awareness about the problems of Armenians and other minorities to promote minority cultures and to contribute to Turkey's democratization. On January 19, 2007, Hrant Dink was assassinated in front of the Sabat building. The assassination evoked people's conscience and hundreds of thousands attended his funeral ceremony, earning the Agos office and the Sabat building a significant place in the collective memory and public conscience. Since 2007, every year on January 19, thousands of people gather in front of the Sabat building to commemorate Hrant Dink and to demand justice. İnanılmaz bir kavga içerisindeyim. Kavgayı da Ermeni olduğum için, Ermeniler için yapmıyorum ya. Yani. Ben o Türkiye'nin, bölgemin, insanların oranın da cennet olması için. After five years of preparation, the former office of the Agos newspaper opened its doors to visitors on April 23rd and 24th, 2019, as the 23 and a half Herat Dink site of memory. The site takes its name from Herat Dink's article 23 and a half April, which was published in August on April 23rd, 1996. It's a pendulum between pain and hope, a pledge between the past and the future, and an invitation to a paradigm shift. The memory site sheds light on Herant Dink's life, his struggle, his days leading up to his assassination, as well as the story of August newspaper and Armenians in Turkey, while offering a look into the near history of Turkey. 23 and a half promotes the universal values embraced by Herant Dink, such as democracy, coexistence, equality, truth, peace, and justice. As Herant Dink guides the visitors through the site, the visitors bear witness to his life, his work as a rights defender, while also seeing snapshots of different historical periods in Turkey with a specific focus on right violations and minority rights. With its exhibitions, archives, and public programs, 23 and a half acts as a space for remembrance, reflection, dialogue, research, activism, learning, and mutual understanding.